Hi friends, I'm Sandeep Singh and in this video I'm going to be talking about my last exam which I'm about to have for this year in university. My last exam is going to be in 3 days time and it's about sensor networks and data analysis and I just thought of making the short day in my life since my exam is about to come up and I'm a bit excited for this video because this is the first time where I'm actually going to take my camera and actually go outside. So let's see how that goes. But first, it is now 12pm and I haven't studied yet. So I'm about to study first. This is the past of paper which I'm looking at which has no answers. I also made some notes before. And as you can see, in week 2, I actually kind of used Active Recall with the toggle list and all that. But like as the week progressed, I kind of gave up on Active Recall and instead I just wrote like formulas which I found in my notes. And then I got even lazier as the weeks progressed and I just started to take like screenshots of my notes instead of writing them. And this is one of the PDFs of the lecture and this is the tutorial sheet that my lecturer gave. Alright, now I'm gonna go outside. So now I'm going to talk a bit about my website which I made. Now the website which I made which is usually in, in the description of my YouTube videos. I'm actually a bit disappointed with the website I made to be honest. I made that website about 6 months ago when I just started YouTube. Now I basically used a website builder to actually like make that website. There's like tons of website builders like the one that I used was called Wix.com but there's also like Wix then there's WordPress and like there's Ghost as well. I just chose like Wix because like Wix was easier to learn. But I'll talk like more about making websites in like another video. And inside that website, like I basically talked about like my, my YouTube videos topic, what what was it supposed to be? And like the reason why I made that website is, is because like I read this book called like Show Your Work, which is by Austin Cleon and like he has a good reason about like like why we should make like our own personal website and stuff like that. But like the reason why I made my website is because like having that website, I could basically like write anything which I want. Like there was no rules and like no restrictions for me on what to write. Like I could basically like write whatever like my brain thinks of. And I basically like had a website to like just talk about like who I am and like what can I offer to the world essentially. And like there's this quote which I like wrote in, in the front page where where it was by like Annie Dillard. And it was actually from the book Show Your Work and I just like copied that quote from that book. And I think essentially that quote basically meant like whatever like you have learned and it's actually important to like share it to another person to like help the other person like you should actually share it. Which is essentially like what I'm trying to do with my YouTube videos at least. In my website I basically like have some parts about programming and like investing and, and like those two were supposed to be like the main topic of my YouTube channel. And like now it's just completely different. Like I don't even plan to like do programming and like talk about investing like anytime soon. But like the reason why I'm not actually like talking about investing and stuff like that is because like I suppose like the audience who are listening to this video would be like somewhere around my age. I'm basically like 20. Like two years ago, I always like wondered about the investing. I learned about index funds and like mutual funds and ETFs and like found out what's the difference between them and stuff like that. But honestly, I think that you should not actually be worried about investing and all that because like we're still kids there's no reason to like worry about money and worry about investing but like instead you should be more focused in investing in yourself so like invest in like knowledge invest in books invest in podcasts and invest in your mental health especially don't worry about all these stocks and bonds and stuff like that but invest in yourself instead speaking of mental health when was the last time you actually like felt grateful to see like how far you actually like come till now? Like we've basically been through school for like 15 years and imagine the amount of like failures we actually like had and like broken friendships and maybe broken relationships and imagine like all those tough times and we've actually won 100% of all of those battles. When was the last time where you actually were amazed at yourself of how much you've actually like grown? 
Like, I feel when we look at the past, we mostly like feel anxious and like feel regret about the stuff we could have done and stuff like that. But instead, you should look back at your past and like see how much you've actually like, grown and like remind yourself of how amazing you are. And like sometimes I feel we need to have a bit of a child's mindset. Like, like instead of like being so focused inside your work and stuff like that, we need to like remember of like how you were as a child. Like when I was a child, I used to like look up at the moon and like see it, it always like followed me wherever I go. And I used to like see raindrops on like my window and see which one actually like falls first. And we need to like remember like how life is to be enjoyed and not just to be focused in your work too much. So like don't worry about money and stuff like that when you're a teenager. Like you've plenty of time the rest of your life to worry about that. But like not when you're a teenager and not when you're a kid. Just try and enjoy life. All right, now I'm going to watch a bit of some YouTube videos and then I'm going to go and sleep, I guess. Goodbye.